field, hitting the ground, running for the Red Alliance, was the Rock City Robots. Quickly trying to put a cargo hatch in place. Torbotics right now getting ready to play some defense. And the early advantage goes to Blue. Red Alliance has some making up to do. Let's we'll see if the number three seeded Blue Alliance can close things out in this match. Leones France has been doing a great job with the cargo. Had some problems last match. Let's we'll see if they can make up some ground. Prometheus right now working to get cargo loaded into the cargo bay as Falcon Robotics playing tenacious defense. Parks littering the field over here on Blue Alliance, half of the field. They may have problems later on, but right now they have the western side of the cargo ship completely filled. Working now on the eastern half is 3039, the Alliance Captain Wildcat Robotics. Wildcat right now grabbing one more piece of cargo and Falcon Robotics making contact, trying to drive them out of the scoring area. Cargo going in and out. Can they nudge it in? Oh, so close for Wildcat Robotics. Prometheus right now being harassed by Falcon Robotics. Trying to grab some cargo once again and a clear run now to the cargo ship for Wildcat. They score. Seven out of eight cargo ports filled on the Blue Alliance cargo ship. The Red Alliance trying to keep up. They have two on the each side of the Red Alliance robot, a Red Alliance cargo ship. The Red Alliance robots right now trying to fill up their cargo ship as Rock City puts another cargo hatch in place. Working now on the rocket ship for the Blue Alliance. The Red Alliance has 30 seconds to stage a huge comeback, but already on habitat platform number three, the SS Prometheus. That is the 22nd horn heading for a half one climb to robotics. Will team 3039 Wildcat have a chance to make it all the way to half level two? They drive up easily. They're on top for the Blue Alliance. Trying to make the flip back and robotics will run out of time. Yes.